Je donne la parole à American for Democracy and Human Rights in Bahrain. Mr. Vice President, technical cooperation is a leading program of the High Commissioner for Human Rights and is crucial to improve the overall human rights situation and practices in a given country. Despite the importance of this program, we would like to raise the question of the effectiveness of the technical cooperation program, especially the role and relation of civil society and human rights defenders. For example, in Yemen and Saudi Arabia technical cooperation program, there is a clear absence of engagement with the civil society. Do you think that the absence of cooperation is problematic and what suggestions do you have to OHCHR and the government of Yemen and Saudi Arabia in this regard? As mentioned in your report, there are, there are 10 million people deprived of their liberty. The majority of these prisoners are in systems which are overcrowded and in conditions that do not meet international standards. Your report rightly states that the right to liberty and security and the obligation to treat imprisoned persons with dignity and humanity is widely recognized in international instruments as one of the most fundamental human rights. There are several procedures and mechanisms that one can relate to address human rights violations of the prisoner, such as the OHCHR special procedure or the different treaty bodies. For example, we have received several reports from prisoners of conscience in Bahrain of human rights violations committed against them in a consistent and systematic manner. Despite submitting complaints to Bahrain National Institute for Human Rights and the Bahraini Ombudsman, such violations continued. Our, our question is the following. What measures should, should be implemented by this Council to address such systematic violations by a member state like Bahrain? I thank you.